Hey everybody, welcome back to my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. I am your host, DioGenZ. And instead of using Cut, we're going to be badasses here and surf over to the gym. Or not. We're going to fight wild Pokemon first. Tentacool! Alright. Let's go take it on, guys. Now, the way that this gym works is that there are switches in these garbage cans here. And in order to get through this gate here, you need to hit the switches. So, nothing in here, nothing in here. And if you battle these people, they'll give you the hint that if you um, find a switch, the switch uh, that turns off the other gate, because you need to turn them off one after another, that will be the gate. Okay, so here's a secret switch. And there will be a switch right next to it, so hopefully it's here. Nope. Alright, so now... When, so that just happened, and it locked it up the, again. Um, so we'll go over here. Yeah, so either it's going to be perpendicular to it, or right above or below it. Nothing in here. I'm trying to avoid battling trainers. Okay. But I guess that can't be helped. I have a feeling that the switch is actually over there by those other trainers. Yeah, so as I mentioned in the previous video, this gym that we're in right now is an electric type, thus the electric fencing. <laughs> and if you've noticed, all the music has changed. Now it's got its own Kanto themed battle music, which I think is totally awesome. The guys over at Game Freak that did the sounds for this just did an epic, epic job. You know, I mean, they totally did it up for every area. I mean, there were some areas that fell through the cracks as far as sound goes, and I'll explain to you why in later episodes, because right now it's not even going to make a lick of sense. But other than that, I mean, the sound in this game is just top-notch. Fifty-one. And as you can see... We are now facing, because we have the National Pokedex, and we're not just Johto based, we're seeing Pokemon from other regions like uh, Hoenn region, which is where this Electrike comes from, and you'll even see some Pokemon from the Sinnoh region, but notice the Electrike is at level 42, so even though you're taking on gyms, you know, it treats, it. the game knows that you're only here because you beat the Elite Four, so it's not going to give, it's not going to waste your time with weak people in gym. Oh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Yeah, but it won't throw... It won't be like starting out all over again. Like when you had to fight Falconer and the toughest Pokemon I believe he had was like a level 12 Pidgeotto or something. I don't even know if it was 12. Oh, and there's the gate unlocked. Oh man. Locked again. It's so annoying. This isn't really a difficult puzzle, it's just kind of based on luck. I really don't like luck-based puzzles. But, say lovey, what you gonna do? Please be the switch. Okay, so this... Alright, now please, no, wait. Yes, okay. So after wasting a lot of time fumbling around with switches, you can fight Lieutenant Surge. Hey you, little tyke. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to Electric-type Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I do all my enemies in battle. And then he has a nice little pink intro, because he's such a manly man. Ha 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 ha. I have sunglasses that I will not wear. See, look, I crush them under my armpits. Right, you go. Gigas. So when fighting Lieutenant Surge, he's got some pretty strong Pokemon. It's almost kind of like fighting people who are in the Elite Four, because all their Pokemon are at top-notch level. But your Pokemon will be the same, and there's going to be tons of trainers for you to get experience on. You know, in my walkthrough battles, or walkthrough videos, I'm sorry, I, I don't really battle 
people just so I don't waste time on YouTube because 10 minute limit, oh, it's a curse of all us LPers. But, um, you know, I highly recommend that you fight all the trainers, you know, fight all the trainers on the boat and fight all the trainers on the, um, in the gyms, you know, fight them on the roots. If I skip them, you know, let it just be a given that you're going to want to get some experience from them because there's no reason not to. Especially since there's no uh, versus seeker anymore. So as you can see here, I'm really not having much trouble with this guy. My biggest recommendation would be just have a ground type Pokemon. Any ground type will do. Now here we go, Magneton. Even though it looks like it's using Levitate, I I had a mistake and. Uh, I remember I was getting, not really blasted, but people corrected me and said that he only has Sturdy Body, I believe, and Magnet Pull. Those are his only two possible Pokey abilities. So even though it looks like he's floating, he's actually not. So thank you guys for correcting me on that, because I am not always right. Electabuzz. This Electabuzz is probably his toughest Pokemon, but for us it's going to be no problem. Quick attack. I actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Oh well. Yeah, but if you have a ground type Pokemon, he won't even be able to unleash his strong electric type moves. So not only are you going to kill him with your ground type Pokemon, but he can't even touch you, really. I mean, he just can't do a thing. That was weird the way I said that. I just realized that. Oh, I gotta stop filming so late at night. It's not over yet. It's just beginning. He you knows your last Pokemon. Oh no, he's got a light screen. Earthquake! Very nice. Alright. Super de duper awesome, guys. Yep. Taken down. Lieutenant Surge. My electric trick. I would love to know what that trick was. But eh, I guess we'll never know. Arg, you are strong. Okay, kid, you get the Thunder Badge. Isn't it so nice in English? I can actually read this stuff. That Thunder Badge suits those who've defeated me. Take care. Uh, okay, take good care. Yeah, it's so nice I can read it and botch the translation. Or botch the uh, reading to you. Anyway. Shockwave, zap, uses lightning, okay. Alright, so he says that there's a big city called Saffron City up north. So, I suppose that in the next episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough here, we will be heading up to Saffron City. But, of course, we will be attacked by a Pokemon first. And since I have time left, I'm going to leave it running. So... Alright, for those of you who don't feel like waiting, I will see you in the next episode. For those who do, well, what you doing, guys? Because there's really not much to watch, and we end it. Rah-her.